And there's uh, Donkey Kong now. I just switched it over to Donkey Kong just to show you that it does work. Um, so I was switching them. I've had a lot of people telling me in my last video that it didn't work. Uh, this is for version uh, TomTom 1.10, 1 1.10. 1 um, the newest one for uh, it's the newest update they have. Um, this one you can uh, share on Twitter and Facebook. So I mean, it's got all the the new features in it. And um, I used the uh, same stuff from my last video, the same files, and uh, just copied it into this one, uh, like I'm going to show you. And uh, and they all work. So the sounds work for sure. I've shown you that this works. Uh, as soon as you change it, it shows the new car on the fly. So let's get into how to do this. Alright, so you plug in your device and uh, make sure TomTom Tom is not running in the background. Then you go on to iPhone Box. There you go to the raw. Make sure you have the uh, downloaded car symbols. They will say uh, for TomTom Tom 1.9, but they work with TomTom Tom 1.10 as well. The exact same uh, files go in the same place. So you click on Raw, System Files, and go down the bar, and look for Mobile, and go to Applications. for a list to be generated. Look for the TomTom Tom you have, mine's US Canada. So I'm going to click on that. Then you're going to go on US Canada app. Open it up, give it a sec. It takes a second to load in. Once you're, once you're in there, you're going to want to go down to Art. Click on it, you'll see cars, double click on it, and there's all the cars there. Now I've already got the new cars added in here, but this is how you do it. So you go into your car symbols, and there they are all there. So you select them all, just select them, and then all you do from here is just take it, and drag it over and it'll say copy and you just let go and it'll copy it onto it. Now I've already done that so I'm not going to do it. And then you go back once you've done that, you go back over to here and premium voices you'll see here. You're going to want to right click and delete. Delete that folder. It'll take a second to delete it then once you delete it, you go scroll back up to US Custom App or US Canada App, or whichever your TomTom -tom is. Then you take the premium voices, the whole folder, and you drag the whole folder. Oops. Give a sec to respond. There we go. So it just took a second to respond. So you're going to take that folder. Premium Voices and drag it and copy it right onto your app, your US Canada app or whatever yours is. And then you just let go and let it copy into it. Okay, once you're done that, you're going to want to go up to Library, open it up down to Catches, then you'll see a folder called Navigator. Click into Navigator. You'll see Premium Voices folder. You're going to want to right click on this one and delete that as well. And then take, after you delete it and it's not in there, you're going to take the same folder, Premium Voices, and then drag it over and drop it in there as well. And once all that's done, you're actually finished uh, putting the new content into your TomTom -tom app. And you're going to want to scroll all the way up to your device, right click, and safely remove. 
And once it's disconnected, all you have to do is just go and respring your device. And once your device is resprung, you will then have all the new stuff in your TomTom -tom app. Voices and new cars. Alright, well that's it for the TomTom -tom app. Thanks for watching. Um, don't forget to like and subscribe to my video. Um, I hope it was helpful and uh, we'll see you in the next video. This is Modmaster J, out.